You guys are into rosemary, right? The lady who had the baby? Oh, the herb. I'm looking for recipes for Thanksgiving next week. Uh-oh, somebody's getting excited about Thanksgiving. Hmm, maybe. He's freaking out. Look at him. Yeah, he's pulling his hair out. Oh, wait, no, that was like that. Hmm, all joke. Yeah. What you doing, Tina? You didn't finish your homework last night? Oh, this isn't homework. I'm working on some erotic holiday fiction. Hmm. Oh, like the one you wrote where St. Patrick got his groove back? Oh, you read that? Yeah. I love that one. Wait, you read it too? I mean, I heard about it. Well, I was reading it out loud. I overheard some of it. I heard it too. What's this one about, Tina? Well, this one's for Thanksgiving, and it's called the Quirky Turkey. It's about a turkey horse glasses. Also, she has skinny legs that she may or may not hide with knee high socks, and she feels left out because she doesn't look like all the turkeys. Is that about you? <laughs> no. no. What? All right, fine. It might have been inspired by a real life event where a certain word was thrown around. Hi, guys. <laughs> Tina, you're so quirky. She's right. You are. You are. You are. Oh my god, you really are. Oh my god, she's like so quirky. Wait, is quirky a good thing? <laughs> That's a quirky thing to ask. So yeah, I'm taking back the coupon and mixing in a fun holiday message. Well, that doesn't sound very erotic, which is totally fine. No, some stuff happens with a pig. Oh. Some suggestive situations imply nudity. Oh, okay, I got it. So how's it end? The not quirky turkeys realize that they aren't there for dinner. They are dinner, and they get their heads chopped off on Thanksgiving. Oh, that's nice. So, did you get a long weekend? Uh, I'm looking forward to Thanksgiving, but I am not looking forward to the day before Thanksgiving. We have to sit through one Mr. Franz's stupid plays again. I'm still bored from last year's play. Yeah, Mr. Franz's plays aren't great, but isn't going to a play better than going to actual school? I mean, do you guys like school? I never asked you that. That's the thing! The day before Thanksgiving is supposed to be a half day. It's on the school schedule. And in most Bibles, at least in the Ving Rames version. <laughs> King James. Jean. Ving Rames. <laughs> Lunch announcements! First up, from the Women's Issues Club, we have Peter and Zeke. What's up, ladies? Our main issue right now is that no girls sign up for this club. And Peter and I wrote a song about it. Hit it! I don't have a vagina, but I won't stop trying to. Come on, girls! Okay, okay, okay. Come on, sign up right now! Okay, on. okay, shutting it down, shutting it down. Holy moly, that's it! What's it? That's how we get our half day. Join the Women's Issues Club? No, what if the day before Thanksgiving play is so offensive that it gets shut down? We'd all go home early! Why would it be offensive? It's never offensive. It's just bad and boring, like avocado toast. But what if we could convince Mr. Fran to let us do the play, and then we make it so horrible and inappropriate that he shuts it down? Boom, half day, a real half day! But where are we gonna find a play that's inappropriate, offensive, and thanks? Giving theme. What's the most erotic temperature you could cook a turkey at? 375. Thanks. Oh my god. Tina, did you uh, hear anything we were just talking about? No. Great. How's your Thanksgiving play going? Oh, it's not a play. It is now. Filling up potatoes, trying not to fart. Thank you, Linda. I just let out a little one. It's my little secret. Oh my god. Oh my god. I know. I have to live with you. No, look at this potato. Yeah? It looks like a face. Oh, okay. It looks exactly like my grandfather. Like, exactly. It does? Yeah, my mother's father burst. This is a spitting image. Look. I mean, don't all old men kind of look like potatoes? See, we got the bumpy thing on its face in the same spot. He used to put a nickel on top of it and then I'd snatch it off. Hmm, great. All right, let's make fries. No! No, Grandpa! Right, that'd be crazy. You know what? I'm gonna keep them for a little while. It'll be good for the kids to get to know my Grandpa. Potato. Grandpa Potato! Yeah, Grandpa Potato! I wasn't trying to nip. Forget it. So you want to put on the Thanksgiving play this year? What can we say? I mean, you inspire us, Mr. Franz. And I should probably just continue to do that. This year, everyone will be reading from an 80th stanza epic poem called The Pilgrim's Picnic. Oh, it sounds great, Mr. Franz. Everyone likes stanzas. I mean, they kind of do, right? Right? You seem pretty confident. After all, it's just your reputation. No biggie. Uh, sounds like you don't need our play, so see you later. Yeah, well, just It's based on an original short story by me. Oh, is it erotic? Suggestive situations. I'm coming back on the nudity. Okay, not a good start. Picture this. An underdog story about a turkey. An under turkey? Who wears glasses? It's a metaphor for self-esteem and community. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, we knew you would. What about music? My please don't have music. It makes the whole thing more musical. And that's why we brought Gene on as our musical director. You did? Oh, yes, now I remember. You absolutely did. Mm, I'm still not entirely convinced. That's because you have high standards, and we love that. And that's why we need you to be our executive producer. Oh, what does an executive producer do? Basically, you accept awards and give interviews. I, I can do that. I, I'd be great at that. Yeah. Yeah, you just say things like, they said it would never work, but look at us now. Oh, that's good. Like, what if I said, this is a real passion project for me? Perfect. Nice. Super cool. So, uh, Mr. Franz, what do you say? Belcher children, you have my permission to put on the quirky turkey. Yeah! Let's get the quirk. Welcome to the open casting call for the first ever student produced Thanksgiving play, The Quirky Turkey. This is your moment and your stage, and also your lunchtime. So remember the afterwards or during your auditions, like I will be doing. We're looking for the best of the best. We're the best of being worst. Mm hmm. I should almost do the split. Almost. Ow. Not quite. Ow. Ow. Love it. Welcome aboard. Look at this. Look at that. Look at this. 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 Okay, you got the button. Thank you, I know. The lights are too bright. Can you turn them down? Your future's even brighter, because you're in the show. I just came in here to see what everybody was doing. Now I'm on stage. What's going on? You got the part. That's what's going on. Do what? Oh, everybody. Thank you. We'll let you know. Next. Wait, Louise, what are you doing? She's really good. Maybe she could play the lead. No, no, no. She's not really what we're looking for. Plus, we already know who's playing the quirky turkey. It's you. What, really? You're perfect, Tina, and you know every word by heart. And you've captured its dead-eyed stare. But I'm the writer, too, and I haven't even finished the second act. Oh, we won't get that far. What? Nothing, nothing. You're doing great. Gene, how's the music coming? Psh, man, so good. Oh, yeah. Works just like him. Same cheekbones, same steamy look. You see, Bob? Teddy sees it, too. Spooky, but also comforting. I miss Grandpa. Oh, we never got to meet the kids, because he died. Maybe I should make him a little blanket. Oh, a little cup of jello. We love jello. Yeah, you can make him a little plate of mashed potatoes, too. What are you talking about? Uh, it, it was a joke. Like, you know, old people and mashed potatoes, because they eat mashed potatoes, and he's a potato. It's poor taste, Bob. Yeah, too soon. Oh, I'm gonna go into the kitchen. Teddy, keep an eye on Grandpa Potato today. Don't let Bob fry him up. I'm not gonna fry up your grandfather. You threw away that piece of toast that looked like it said, wow. That was a dark day. All right, folks, just a few days till curtains up. Let's give him a show to remember. Hey, T, how's my writer slash it girl doing? I don't know. I'm not feeling good about this. All right, fantastic. Can't wait. Um, okay. Well, it's time for the top, T. Five, six. You check your nails. Grateful, T. Keep it down. Just stop. Go down, go down, go down. How are those harmonies coming, ladies? Try this on for size. Uh, no, no, what? no. Jocelyn, that's not uh, a harmony. It's not? No, do
director. And I am too, also. Yes, I am the executive producer. This was a real passion project. Have you ever met the people from Bones? Um, no. Do you have a limousine? No, I drive a hatchback. Girls. Do, do you guys want to talk about the play? What play? Did you have plastic surgery? Be real. No. Do you want plastic surgery? No. What? what? If I were you, here's where I'd start. Face, back, what? run. Okay, we're all set for tomorrow. Our sweet, sweet half day is so close, I can taste it. It tastes like victory and nachos. So what's the plan again? Oh, gee, it all happens after the first song when the turkeys get killed. Backstage, an air compressor will be attached to hoses, which will be attached to bottles full of giblets and gizzards, which will be inside the turkey heads. When I hit this button, the turkey heads are going to blow off and giblets and gizzards are going to go everywhere. Like Harry meets Gallagher meets Top Chef meets Double Dare. Exactly. All right, hands in the middle. Get Ron to shut down Tina's horrible play and get a half day on three. One, One two, two, three. Get Ron to shut down. Tina, how long have you been chilling there? Long enough. Why is my hand like this? We don't even do this in our family. Do we play sports now, too? If the sport is lying and ruining my play, yeah, I guess you do. So I am an athlete. So this was your plan all along? You're just using me in my play? Tina, I'm sorry you had to find out this way. Gene, when you said Tina plays out the goods and you said good like I had a Z at the end, that was just a bunch of crap? I never should have put that Z on the end. That's my biggest regret in all of this mess. I came in here to tell you guys that I finally maybe sort of finished the big heartfelt musical number act two. And now you're saying that none of that even matters? Hey, save the drama for the stage, Tina C. Williams. Yeah, don't get your pubes in a tube. I will get my pubes in a tube. We should all get our pubes in a tube. Because Louise and Gene are gonna ruin the whole play by jumping gizzards and all over the stage so Mr. Brown will shut down the play. <laughs> okay, okay, just calm down. There's a completely reasonable explanation for all this. Yeah, care about the play. All you care about is that the play gets shut down and we get a half day. Oh, oh. half day? I think that. I'm as angry as you are. Wait, what? Yeah, half day doesn't sound half bad. Hell yeah. I wouldn't mind getting home early too. And I want to go to the mall that day to get leggings. Yeah, her legs. Yes. Well, Tina looks like everyone wants to go to shutdown town, except for you. But we've all worked so hard. Have we? And I've worked hard getting a whole bunch of giblets and gizzards. People don't want to sell that stuff to a nine-year-old. Look, it'll all be worth it tomorrow when you're sitting on the couch back in your PJs at 11 a.m. staring down a four-day weekend. So what do you say? You ready to take this turkey? Um, I guess. Yeah. Everyone else wants to do it. All right, so let's settle. The show must go off. See you tomorrow. Just doing something over here. <laughs> Uh, Lynn, what are you doing? Uh, 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 nothing! Are you putting Grandpa Potato in your bag to bring to school? What? No! That would be ridiculous, it's a potato! I'm a grown woman, hello! Can't even breathe in there! Okay, fine, you got me. I just wanted to see the kids' show! Lynn, don't bring the potato, please. I I'm begging you. I need to know you're okay. Alright. He'll just stay here and he'll never see the kids perform, it's fine. Look alive! Talent's arriving for breakfast! Morning, Morning Grandpa potato. potato! There they are! Look at my little stars! I gave birth to a theater company! I love it! Pancakes, please! Wait, make that waffle! Scratch that! Make a pancake mix and a waffle maker! That's what waffles are, Gene. They're, that's pancakes. I don't want a conversation! I want pancakes in the shape of waffles! Okay, fine. Big day! I can't wait to see a Thanksgiving play! Oh, it's good for mom. I bet it is. Are you excited, Tina? Um, yeah. Totally. For sure, totally. Of course she is! Look at her! She can barely contain herself! Really proud of you, kids. Pancakes and our waffles speak louder than words, father! Hello, friends and families! Before we begin, I'd like to introduce a man who made all of this possible. Give it up for our executive producer, Mr. Fraud! Every once in a while! Great speech, Mr. Fraud, thank you! Okay. And without further ado, sit back and enjoy the Quirky Chucky! Alright, nice people! How you doing, girl? Um, not great. I feel like my soul has diarrhea. Use it! What? Use it! Let's go, folks! It's showtime! Hit it, Gene! Half day, here we come! <laughs> and popular turkeys. We're gonna make great Thanksgiving dinner guests. Yeah, because we're conventionally attractive turkeys, not like that quirky turkey over there. Hi. Ew, uh, don't talk to us. Yeah, go away. We've been invited to special dinners as special guests. Why do you think humans want to eat with turkeys this year? I wouldn't read into it. Yeah, you're right. We're going, going to dinner. We're going, going to dinner. We're, we're so glad we're going, 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 going to dinner. dinner. Like I oh, Linda, look who came after all. <gasps> Grandpa Potato! I felt bad that I talked you out of it, so here. Oh, Bobby. <clears throat> I'm just holding him up so he can see his grandkids. Is he blocking you? Oh, uh, yeah. Thanks, you're tall. It's a potato that looks like a grandfather. I don't know, it doesn't look like a face to me. Well, it's dark in here, so, but it does. Okay, but it's show him a picture of your grandfather. Turn to watch the show. Why can't I be like the other turkeys? They're all off having fun. Is it because I'm scrawny and have glasses? And rather smallish buns? There he is, my crush. The most handsome pig wanna rush? Yeah! Ow, ow. Man, oh man, I dig that pig! Hey, turkey. I'm too quirky, don't look at me. Okay. <laughs> Time for the grand finale. Air compressor, this is your big debut. Uh-oh, I'm starting to suspect we're not just going to dinner, I think we are the dinner. I thought I was a guest, but they just want me for my breast. Much about the price, they're all staring at my thighs. They all look stunning, and then what coming. Why don't they eat a pig instead? Oh my god, they're jumping on my head! Oh my god. Oh, nice. oh wow, this doesn't feel so good. Okay. This isn't gonna scar anyone for life, right? <laughs> I'm not I'm not I'm not up, huh? Okay, this might have been a mistake. Shutting this down! It seemed like a good idea. Tina, I'm so sorry you put in all this work and now Louise, I... Louise, we gotta keep doing the show. Excuse me? The musical is missing something, and now I know what it is. Believe it or not, this actually makes it work better. Look, Mr. Fine is coming through that door in any second to shut us down, which is what I thought I wanted, but I was wrong. I'm sorry, we're not gonna be able to do the second act. Louise? There he is. You need to stop him. I'm going out there. Gene, we're gonna do the next number. Uh, we are? All right, close that curtain, Louise. You are in big trouble. Yeah, right, yes, totally understand. Just hear me out. I don't know what that crazy turkey's doing out there, but if there's any chance to save the show, she's it. I, I used to spend my time wishing for a plot behind, but now those birds with perfect bodies are decapitated hotties. I wish I was someone else, but it takes guts to be yourself. Oh. Now I've got the guts, I've got the glory. I like my scrawny stuff, and I'm here to tell my story. I've got the guts, do you have the guts to be yourself? you got the guts, huh? and you, huh? and you. Huh? i got the guts, you've got the guts, and you. Huh? And you, and you, and you! Tina, you son of a bitch. I'm so proud to be part of this. She's so quirky. I'm quirky too, right? You wish. What? I'm happy to be who I am. Now I'm gonna see about a pig before he becomes a hell. Hey, quirky turkey. I've been looking for you everywhere. Shut your snout and kiss me. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh boy. Okay, maybe now we shut it down. Do you think they'll make us clean this up? Yeah, I think they
Why can't I be like the other turkeys? Y'all, I'm having fun. Is it cause I'm scrawny and have buses? And now there's dollars.